We got Planet Namek, Open Field, Rocky Land, City, World Tournament, Tournament of Power, Hyperbolic Time Chamber, Planet of the Kai's, Islands, Cell Games, City Ruins, and Destroyed Namek. As of right now, these are the 12 stages available for us to play in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero, but I'm a greedy little bastard, man. I'm still expecting more. For a game like this, I truly find it hard to believe that we won't be getting more stages at some point later on down the line, whether it be paid DLC, free updates, or anything like that. So me and the homie Vocal Pineapple each came up with a different list of potential stages that we think could eventually appear in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. But wait, didn't I just say I'm a greedy little Stage transitions are one of the coolest features that we've ever seen in past Dragon Ball games like Budokai and even Dragon Ball Fighters. So to make this even more interesting, and since we know Bandai is kind of listening to the community a little bit, we also thought up some unique stage transitions we thought would be super sick to see if more dramatic effects could potentially be applicable in a game like this before anybody tries to yell at me and my homie. I know trying to retroactively add stage transitions in the game is damn near impossible at this point but i think this will be a really cool thing to see moving forward with some of the stages that we're expecting later on down the line and we already have stage destruction and stuff like that so trying to be a little bit more imaginative with things they can do with newer content in the future i don't think that's too out of line so even if it would never happen i'm sorry somebody gotta hear these cool ideas we thought of please bear with our wandering imaginations during this stage prediction video because that's still what it is we have a lot of cool stages listed if you enjoy dragon ball spark and zero content consider leaving a like subscribe to my home me vocal pineapple over there and myself too if you're feeling generous and let's go ahead and see what we both have on our list all right fabian so i guess i'll let you go first since you're the guest over here but you ain't gonna get too many more of those man damn it damn it. okay all right uh so as far as stages i'm gonna start oob's village okay we, okay. we have oob <laughs> this is a free one Okay, and Ooh, I already really kind of explained to them, like, we're doing transitions as well, even though obviously yes. they can't do that retroactively. It'd be cool to see in the future since we already have stage destruction. So since we, like, Oob's Village is like, sure, all right, that's cool in and of itself. But Oob's Village is right next to Corrin's Castle, and we don't have Corrin's Castle or, or, or like, the, the lookout. We don't have that at all. So it'd be cool to be able to transition from, I guess, being down in the village to seeing the beginning of the tower, then kicking someone up to the tower maybe, or... Just, I'm trying to find some way for us to get to the tower, but also, you know, Oob's Village is cool. It's, it's kind of like a cool combo. I, all my maps are like trying to figure out a cool combination between two maps that are next to each other, if that makes sense, for the most part. Yeah, and I know these stages are already like big as hell, but I feel like something can be, like I said, we already have stage destruction, so I feel like something can be True. worked out there. Yeah, and then we know that, like, stages, technically, they can get bigger, like, the, yeah. the World Tournament stage. So, it's like, all right, you can definitely expand to a bigger stage. Oh, dude, that was so cool. I don't know if you remember that. I, I can't even remember what stream or what piece of gameplay that was from. But you remember when they first showed us that you can fight outside of the World Tournament Arena, too? Yeah, by making the the, the, the stand, I guess the people in the stands disappear. And yeah, destroy like, you can like, go Vegeta. outside and fight in the city. Bro, that was cool, man. Yeah, so we need like map more maps like that with that uh that idea behind it where it's like sure maybe you're in the same area but like you you get expand the area more i guess or make the map itself bigger than you're already in by doing something exactly okay so i guess my first one this is gonna be a really simple one man this is something that i'm still so surprised that this isn't a a beginning stage in the game since it's gonna be in story mode so many times but the mm. lookout yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's so weird. Like, th this is one of the most iconic Dragon Ball locations. Exactly. We've been there throughout the entire story. We keep having to go back there. We're never going to stop going over there. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not going to abandon Dende there. Why do we ha not have the lookout as a map? It's in Xenoverse. Exactly. Like, it's in every other Dragon Ball game. Why? Why, Why not? It's so weird. And I feel like it'd be really cool to be able to transition from the lookout into the hyperbolic time chamber. That's probably, that would probably be a weird one, but that's I feel cool. like it'd be pretty sick. No, that's still peak because I mean we have the hyperbolic time chamber. You're gonna end up there in like like single multiplayer anyway, right? Like yeah. or a local multiplayer anyway. Yeah, Why not have screen. some sort of trade? I I know they're saying it's like limited. You know the the split screen is gonna be limited to that, but why not have some sort of cool transition in there anyway? Tower map is not gonna be that different. I mean, or or, or the lookout is not gonna be that different. It's just yeah. a big empty space in the sky with a platform. <laughs> it's kind of the same as the hyperbolic time chamber anyway. 
So for the first two, we got the lookout and you said Oob's village, right? Yeah, I got I got those so are our main stages going into like Corin's area, which I guess is is also like part of the lookout. So we're kind of like going in, in in order right now. Yeah, from Oob's village up to the lookout. So my number two is that big giant underground cave that Beerus and Goku fought in in Battle of Gods. Like, okay. like where you like, I want to lead a There's technically no sky or anything, but then I guess you should be able to like knock the person through all that and end up at Balma's birthday party is what I have. So oh, like that would you be pretty go, cool. Go through the ground and then you have like the yacht in the background and maybe like the whole I don't know like how you would do the characters, but like the whole birthday celebration, you could destroy yeah. the yacht. I think that would be cool. I think fighting on the yacht itself would be pretty cool since we already I have mean, like all the the uh, arena stage destruction and stuff like that. We could fight in office buildings in this game. So at this point, yeah, fight, or saying. in the giant tree on uh, on Supreme Kai World, we might as well be able to fight on the yacht and destroy the yacht. That'd be fire. Exactly. All right. So, so your my turn. next Go one. Ahead. My next one is gonna be Bobby's ship. And then if we could blow Ooh. this, if we could blow this stage up, it would transition to the outside above ground where we're fighting like with Boo's shell in the background. I think that would be sick. That would be cool because you're kind of starting off in like a completely inside, yeah, like smaller location. It's like starting off in like the training area or, or the, the the weight room, right? Like, and then yeah. I don't I don't know where you destroy it, and you're just outside. I think that's cool. But I can't that's remember where like Monte Vegeta happens, right? I can't remember what the biggest was. It wasn't Bobby like teleporting them to like different? Was it different dimensions? I remember they went into like a a building or something. Then they were like going down, and then. Eventually, they ended up in a wasteland. I don't remember how they ended up in the wasteland. I can't though, I remember how Bobbity did that or if it was just illusions. He was doing something with his magic. Like, he took them to... Was it hell where they were fighting Deborah? I don't know what was going on there. But when Vegeta was fighting Pui Pui, I think that's that's a good place to fight. Like, start the battle off on that stage. And then whenever you get the stage destruction off, it'll take you outside to the wasteland with Boo's shell in the background. For me, my third one isn't that different from that, I guess, because you're, you're also starting inside a location and then ending up outside. I have the Cell Max Lab with him just kind of like locked up in the background. Okay. And then you can just break free out to the Red Ribbon Base. Since we don't really have any like Dragon Ball stuff, the Red Ribbon Base is from Super. Yeah. So it's kind of like we, you can kind of sneak it in there as a Super map instead of just a, a Dragon Ball map, since I don't think we're going to get any just straight up only Dragon Ball. I do have another map that also could double as a Dragon Ball map coming next, I guess. But I, yeah, like there's some superhero maps, I guess, or Dragon Ball super maps that could also double as Dragon Ball maps. So I'm trying to like sneak a couple of those in there. Yeah. Okay. So we got Bobbity ship and the Red Ribbon Bay or Red Pharmaceuticals, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Now they got a rebrand. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my next one, th this one might be kind of weird too. I feel like this could be either really simple or really convoluted. This is going to be Snake Way, and we could either fall through oh, the clouds yeah. or send your opponent through the clouds into the hell map or get like sent straight into King Yama's check in station. I feel like either one of those would be pretty sick. You kind of see where I'm coming from, right? I think you could even end up on like King Kai's planet or, or something, and that would still make it hard. Like <laughs> something like sna that. Snake Way and just sending someone down straight to hell is really cool, also. Like you can actually just land on the Snake Way. Yeah. and run i like how you can land on the ground in the game and just run instead of uh, uh flying and i think there's like a, a training mode or something it's a, there's a way to turn off the flying too in yeah. one of the modes or something so imagine just running on the snake way the whole time and then jumping off and then just seeing somebody go straight down i think that you can turn that off in, uh, i think you can turn the flying off in tournament mode too so we got that, that a snake way tournament would kind of be fire i'm not gonna lie yeah, hey, those, those non-flying fly. tournaments are gonna be heat too and then getting straight to Yemma, like, I, I, I could imagine the cutscene immediately where he's just, like, looking at you like, no, and you're just denied <laughs> or something, or you guys are fighting in front of all the souls. That would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, and my next one after that is Baba's Palace. It's real simple. Just, like, okay. the palace where we've seen Goku and, like, Grandpa Gohan and Dragon Ball Super. We saw Goku going to get uh, Frieza there, I believe, right? They had that quick little fight at nighttime. So you could have the day and the nighttime version. It's just, like... It's not a huge area. I mean, they could probably make it look bigger in the game, but Baba's Palace, it's just real simple. It has those pools of water, the tiles, the little house. I think in some stuff, there's like more stuff around it. So I guess it depends on what they were trying to add. But that that's like a iconic location that is just not in the game at all. That is kind of like, okay, we just had this back in Super. Exactly. Freeze the tank to Hakai Ball here. Like we got to at least throw this in here somewhere. And I feel like uh, Roshi's house in, isn't like a big stage either, but I feel like, I mean, that's still like an iconic place that we're missing. Yeah, the game gotta too. have Roshi's house. Like, yeah. even if it's just a little island in the middle of a big ocean, like, 
that could be the water map for all I care. And we, we have the Namek where you could be in the water, but I wouldn't mind a map where it's just a big ocean. You see the island over there and you're in the water and you're in the sky. Like, that's cool to me. Well, that could be part of a um a potential sky stage where we're fighting in the sky most of the time, but like down below us, we can see Roshi's house. You just see Roshi's house yeah, all the way sick. in the background. <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> But all right, for our third ones, we got Snake Way and Baba's Palace. Yes, sir. All right, so for my next one, this is another iconic one, man. Where is Frieza's ship? Yeah, it has to just be tucked away in like one of the maps, like small somewhere. You think like maybe exactly. a, on the Namek map, it's probably just tucked in the back. And then I'm going to take so it back weird. to dramatic finishes, man. We could go from Frieza's ship and transition out into outer space over planet Vegeta. Ah, see, that's literally my next one. My next one is planet Vegeta like on the planet itself where it's all red and everything and then yeah. outer space with the death ball in the background and i i have that the death ball lands when the match ends like it just wipes everything i think that'd be cool <laughs> okay just so you add, just did like, the opposite of mine yeah i was like you know what let's <laughs> add like a flare of dramaticness and just have it so like you see it getting closer and closer or something and then i don't know maybe the time runs out or the match ends and it just hits you get a cool little cutscene at the end I like stages like that where it's like, yeah, yeah. As soon as this fight ends, everything is ending also. So just get the fight out as fast as you can. Bro, are, are you a little bit disappointed with the stage destruction in the game so far? Or have we just not seen much of it? I feel like I need to see a stage get completely destroyed. Like I need to see us on Earth and then at the end of the match end up in space fighting with everyone just scattered around. Maybe Whis is rewinding the Earth or something like it even happened in Superhero, with, uh, not Superhero, in Super with Frieza destroying the planet. We should see the yeah. planet destroyed. I know, like, destroyed planet with the magma and everything. That's cool. I want to go beyond that. Let me destroy the Earth. I feel like that's completely. the only thing we've seen so far was destroyed, like, Namek going through the stage destruction. Is that the only one in the game so far? I'm confused. There's that. And then, yeah, I mean, besides, I guess, the little world tournament one where you're destroying the stands. Oh, yeah, that that, too, that's I all guess. I can really think of. We all better right. be able to do that to Earth. Earth got to get destroyed. It just is what it is. I'm sorry. Well, if they have that little area of Earth where they fought Golden Frieza, I think that would be perfect. Oh, yeah, because then you just... I mean, Golden Frieza did it with a key blast, so... Yeah. <laughs> that's clearly the most vulnerable spot on Earth. That's crazy. All right, so my next one, well, just to reiterate that, I chose Frieza's ship, and then you pretty much chose Planet Vegeta, and we did the reverse of each other. Yeah, like, you you, you kept Planet Vegeta alive. I destroyed it. It's gone <laughs> by the end of the battle. All right, so my next one, I got three more, and two of these, I feel like, are super, super unique. My next one is going to be, listen to this, bro. I'm, pr I'm proud okay. of this one. I, I was in my okay. bag with this one. All right, hold All right, on. So this next one is going to be Planet Beerus. And then the transition is going to be, if you start destroying stuff too much, Whis is going to put y'all in the staff. Oh, that would be great. Bro, I, I like was in that. my bag with that one, man. I like that. I like, like, <laughs> it is one, it's weird that we don't have Beerus Planet at all. It's yeah. very strange. Like, that should be the map that you include first. But I, I like the idea of having Beerus Planet because there's so many, like, spaces we've seen on there, right? Like, you could be in Beerus's room. Exactly. Like, you could be anywhere. And then being in the staff, you're just in that weird dimension, I guess. That's cool. Yeah, like, y'all like start that. doing too much, you know, planet destruction. We see it's going to pop out and put you in that pocket dimension in the staff. We see it's like, hey, guys, uh, <laughs> I got to <laughs> maintain much. some of this here. <laughs> this is hard to rebuild, not going to lie. For me, what's my next? My next one is the final battle area of DBS Broly. So I guess like that, that like sunset where they're fighting in, okay. and, and the and then I have the stage transition being the other dimension, which I guess would be weird if you're not playing as like super powerful characters. But already mm. when you do the you do the beam the stroke, you're flash, already kind yeah. of shattering everything. So I feel like it'd be cool. I mean, let I, let's really recreate that fight. Let me go on that map <laughs> with Gogeta and Broly, and let's go to the other dimension for real, like break into there somehow by doing some sort of a clash or maybe it would be triggered by doing the clash right like you yeah. would do the clash and then, and then the universe would there. actually break and you're just <laughs> in there for like however long i mean maybe you're in there for the rest of the match or you're in there for a certain period of time but okay. i mean it looked really good in the movie it was kind of all 3d in there they probably have a file laying around somewhere that map Dude, I oh, feel like I'd get a headache if I just fought there for the whole match, man. I mean, it's kind of like being in Whis's staff a little bit because yeah. you're just in like a big kind of colored void. But I wonder how it would look in the game, like all the all the effects that they're using. The TD, 2D animation team is going crazy in this game. So I yeah, can just imagine sure. just broken glass in the back. It's looking like the Watchers back there or something like Marvel's happening in the background. I think that'd be really cool. And I got I got one more after this. 
Okay, my next one, well, that one was Planet Beerus, and you did the glacier area and then transferring or transitioning into the, the pocket dimension, the shatter yeah. dimension, I guess. Yeah. All right, so my next one was actually the glacier area that was kind of, you know, piggybacking off of yours. And then the okay. stage destruction would just be, you know, the destroyed volcanic glaciers where they fought Super Broly, like Super Saiyan yeah, Broly. Yeah, where Frieza got. <laughs> yeah, where Frieza was getting Frieza dragged for Frieza got the worst of it. Yeah. <laughs> so you got, all right, so the glacier area and then Frieza getting worse. And my last one is very vague. It's just summoning Shenron. I need to be somewhere where Shenron is getting summoned in the background. Give okay. me the dark clouds. Give me the, you know, Dragon Balls going in the background. And then at some point in the match, like, have Shenron just appear like you know behind the you, you can't fly i mean maybe you should be able to fight him that would be cool too just having a giant shenron yeah i feel like just having a shenron summoning in the background that's like the ultimate this is i am playing a dragon ball game map shenron is being summoned we are fighting over the wish we're we're fighting over something where i'm trying to keep freezer or somebody from getting there exactly like you you could do that on namek you could do that on earth i mean shenron's been summoned in so many different places now you could do that in space with the super dragon balls like, it just feels like such a free map to have a Shenron summoning happening, and then everything gets all dark and dramatic, and the lightning is coming down. Like, it's already cool when that's happening just with someone powering up. So, it being out of your control, I feel like is raw. Like, I really like that idea. Word. So, my final one, that was your final one, right? Yeah, that's my last one. So, my final one, this isn't so much of a prediction of a stage because we already have this stage, and there's really no transition with this. I just feel like maybe this will be a cool mod or something. But what if we could fight in the hyperbolic time chamber and then when somebody destroys the door, the timer disappears and now the match is just infinite until somebody dies. There is no timer anymore. I think if that happens, we're just going to end up playing hyperbolic time chamber a lot. Like instead of just being, oh, this is the designated P1 versus P2 match. This is going to be no, no, no. Everyone plays here because you can actually make it infinite online. <laughs> Bro, that would be so to, heat, man. Take your time. Like, no, you're not leaving here. And then maybe if you're playing as like Gotenks or <laughs> Super Boo, you yeah. actually can get out. Like, no, no, no. Not me. Bro, imagine you imagine, leave your opponent imagine in somebody there. running from you like in ranked or something because they know they're beating you because of the timer. Nah, destroy that door, buddy. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, let's destroy both these sand, whatever, time counter, and let's just be stuck in here. Yeah. No super boot, no go tanks, no nothing. Let's just be stuck in here. Let's die together. Let's pull up and die. <laughs> pull up and die. <laughs> Let's pull up and die in the hyperbolic time chamber. Uh, that would be sick, man. Like I said, that's not really much of a sta uh, stage prediction or transition, but I feel like having, even if that's just a mod or something somebody could pull off, I feel like that would be like a sick addition to the game. They have a lot of like weird special interactions in the game. So like, who knows if it goes beyond just the characters talking or like yeah. the 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 Majin uh, Vegeta destroying the stage and whatnot. I, I'm, that, that's not the kind of thing that I think they wouldn't do. It's just, did they have the time to do it? Did they think about it? Honestly, that's really, are you creative enough? That's the thing. I feel like if they had a little bit more time with, I mean, I, I can, can I even say that? Cause they've been working on this for five plus years, but yeah, if they, I mean, if, at a certain point, you got to just stop. <laughs> yeah. Like, but right. if they had like <laughs> another know. year or whatever, I feel like we would be getting all this stuff like hands down. I hope at least every time we get a DLC character, throw us a stage, throw us even one stage. I'll be happy. I really want two stages yeah, for word. every character, but one stage. And then it kind of makes sense for the character or you give them one stage that makes sense. And one that doesn't, like we're gonna get uh you know beast gohan and orange piccolo bam give it's us the red, the red ribbon, ribbon and cell max lab free easy peasy right like it doesn't take that much to get people excited for stages we don't ever get stages in anime games anyway i don't know right? how we I, got baby vegeta and didn't get planet tuffle do we have any gt stages at all like even the destroyed city gt style nah i, I don't think we do so we just have the gt characters no gt stages we have barely any dragon ball characters i don't think we technically have i mean besides you know wastelands and stuff that'll be used in every series we don't technically have a db stage so that's what i want to see i mean I even see some below of the movie even below corn's tower and below the lookout could be considered a og dragon ball stage you know, we didn't list. People are going to be mad if we don't list it. The Janemba world or like that zone where you have all oh. the that that has to be a stage from Fusion Reborn. And I'm sure if we go to the movies, what are we talking? We just need a movie pack. The, yeah. the Tree of Might, the Tree of Might stage with all the fruits and it's like pitch black on Earth and it looks crazy. That's a fire stage. The only reason I didn't put hell on here by itself because it was a part of my snake way portion of the thing. 
was because I didn't really, I felt like that should already be in. Like, how is that already not in the game? We have every character from that movie in the game, except Icon, of course. All right, fellas, let me know down below in the comments what you think of our stage transition slash stage prediction uh, for possible upcoming DLC for Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. But that is going to do it for this one, fellas. I appreciate you coming here. through again, Fabian. It's almost here, man. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, we, we got a week. We got a week. I, I, I'm going to say yeah, that. Yeah, it's coming, man. <laughs> we got to just wait like good boys and girls, man. Hey, man. A week from now, next... What, what day is today? Tuesday? Next it's Monday. It's seven days away. Next it's Monday, week people away. should be playing. God, man. I hope but someone's hearing this and they're like, oh. Hey, man. I hope I don't even know when Collector's Edition pre-orders are going out. I haven't gotten anything yet. I pray the collectors comes early. <laughs> it should. Give me that. Let that be the early surprise on this. Uh, the six is a Monday. I'm cooked. Never mind. Hey, Banda, I paid <laughs> a lot coach. of money to, to not get that on time. I paid too much money, man. Come on. Don't play them games. Bandai, please.